Hello YouTube, this is Todd with the Bushcraft Band and today I want to talk to you about a serious subject which is safety with cutting tools, knives, hatchets, machetes, saws. And the thing, the event that inspired me to do this video was a recent incident where I almost wound up with a disabled thumb, potentially losing it. And the way that happened was I thought I was being safe, but I wanted to split a piece of wood, my tomahawk. So I'd seen videos of this technique before where you bring it down like this. And what wound up happening is that instead of cutting into the wood, the machete, my tomahawk bounced thumb came really close to severing this main tendon in the back of my thumb just by a millimeter which would have permanently disabled me but fortunately only left a scar right here and that got me to thinking I've seen all these safety videos on knives and such on YouTube but uh, if you boil it all down to one simple rule, really what you want to do is never have a body part below a cutting edge or in the path of a cutting edge that's in motion. So when I'm doing this, I'm violating that rule. Got my hand, my thumb below the cutting edge. There's just so many other ways to do this. You want to split a piece of wood and cut it down like this and there's millions of videos that show you all these techniques but I uh, can split wood like this rather than like this. You can take another stick and hold your wood if you want to chop it. As long as you don't have a body part in the way. Um, when it comes to chopping tools, it's generally better to use some sort of baton rather than a chopping motion. I mean, they've done this to death, but when you swing an ax or a tomahawk or whatever, um, things can go wrong. Things can bounce, the wood can fly up and hit you. Uh, and there's a lot of videos on chopping with axes, full size or small axes, and what can go wrong with those. But um, better than swinging it is to do one of these deals. Um, but the main thing I want to point out is if you just remember the one simple rule is to never have a body part below where that cutting edge is. Um, that's all you have to remember. And remember that rule before you ever try to make a cut with a saw, axe, knife, or whatever. Um, and I've seen experts on TV on some of these survival shows you know they're trying to be real careful but they make a cut and they wind up cutting themselves and uh, if they had just remembered that one simple rule never cut towards yourself never cut where your body part is in the path where that cutting edge is going to go just don't do it just remember that one simple rule. Cut away from yourself. And it's with a knife, 
saw, machete. I take a saw and there's plenty of videos on this technique too, but um, what can happen with a saw is that saw blade can jump out. Um, it can jump out on you when you're applying force and making that cut. And sometimes, and I've, I know people this has happened to and they've had a pretty bad injury, that saw blade bunch of, bumps out of there and lands on their hand as they're making that cut and they cut into their flesh. End of story. So, uh, either keep your hand well away from that or reach through it like this where that blade can't bounce up on you. Uh, there's plenty of videos on that too. Uh, but So, in this case, my digits are not below the cutting surface of the blade, but you do want to remember that thing can bounce out of there and get you. Or, in case of this, same thing could happen. Chopping tools can bounce. Um, and of course, better to baton. And I know people are gonna say, yeah, well, this, uh, this blade wasn't designed for pounding on, and that's true in the case of many ax heads, but this particular one, it's actually designed for it. Uh, but even so, uh, I think I'd much rather risk uh, shortening the life of my cutting tool than shortening the life of my digits or limbs. Uh, it's a whole big debate on batoning itself. Uh, <laughs> and uh, one reason in favor of it is to for safety. Do that. And some of the best uh, survival experts I know uh, use batoning when it's necessary. Uh, it's a good skill to have. And it's generally very safe. So, batoning. Cut you some knots. Split you some wood. Of course, I don't want to baton big things with a small knife, uh, but if you're in a survival situation and something you absolutely need to get done uh, and you want to do it in a safe manner, I'm going to, of course, I'm always going to have a backup blade in case I break one, but uh, batoning, you know, it's uh, something that can help you to be safe. So, once again, safety. These blades, uh, saw blades, chopping blades, knives, they can do some serious damage. Uh, so, to me, and this is uh, something I came up with and, and I uh, try to think about before I ever cut anything, is Never cut where your end of your body parts are below that cutting surface. I'm not gonna cut here, you know, you can hit your leg and you hit your artery. This is the triangle of death here. Never never cut here. You're gonna cut over here, you know, where your body body parts aren't in the way. Um, so that's it. That's all I got to say. Uh, hope this helps people. Hopes, uh, hope, hope you remember that one simple thing, one simple rule, and that hopefully it saves you from some grief or serious loss. Appreciate you joining me. Uh, 
This is Todd with Bushcraft Band, signing out.